Oh, it's a 37 mil? Hey, guess what that is? We are going to have to target that. This entire area with the Nebelwerfer. All right, screen away. Oh wow, the that was awesome. I don't know if we got any direct impacts on this 37. What is this little thing? Oh, look at that, it's a tiny T27. It is October 1941. What the Germans call Operation Typhoon just entered its third week. The final push to capture Moscow proves very hard for the Wehrmacht. Now that the Rasputitsa is frozen solid, the offensive may be moving quicker, but it's also getting very cold and the Germans are not equipped for winter. That doesn't change the fact that they are still in a hurry to get to Moscow. To get there, it is essential to capture the towns along the Moscow Highway. This road, one of the few paved roads that lead to Moscow, is absolutely essential to bring forward the reserves and supplies that will be needed for the Germans to capture the Russian capital. In an attempt to trap the 32nd Army, which is defending Vyazma, a two-pronged attack is staged to take the last major town on the highway before Moscow. This mission is part of the North Pincer, which moves forward to cross the Dnieper River at Glushkovo. This small village will prove a big test. The attackers will need to be very cautious and very quick at the same time. It will be paramount to secure this river crossing as quickly as possible. Oh my god, it is here. Gates of Hell, after over half a decade of not knowing it was ever going to come out, I got my hands on it. Massive shout out over to the team at Barbed Wire Studios for handing me one of just a very, very, very few limited full game keys. This here is the first mission of the German campaign. And this is basically a world exclusive. A very small amount of people have access to the full game at this point and are allowed to make videos on it. So a massive shout out to Barbed Wire for letting me make these videos. I do want to start real quick by saying this is a work in progress. The game isn't fully done yet. You might see a thing here and there that would be considered a bug. They have told me they're working on fixing as many as possible. Just keep that in the back of your mind. I will link the Steam Store page for Gates of Hell in the description. With that being said, everyone wants to know how good does it look? How good does it feel? I spent probably about five minutes because I didn't want to spoil myself too much. Just a couple of minutes just familiarizing myself. And it really is a mix between Assault Squad, Call to Arms when it comes to the controls. And it just felt so intuitive. I jumped right in. I don't feel like I have to learn anything new. And right away, one of the things I noticed was I was clicking through my infantry, right? And this was something that I thought was really cool. You see this soldier here? He's armed with a K-98. He's got a uh, little hat on. Well, he also has his helmet strapped to his vest. Now, we can take off his hat and put on his helmet. Look, on a honestly, to me, that just it broke me earlier when I was looking at that. I was like, what? How does that even, that is so freaking awesome. So anyway, just a little thing like that. Our objectives are pretty simple. First, clear this area near the Dnieper, and then clear the Dnieper fording area. Now, hopefully I didn't mispronounce that too bad. Uh, I think it might be Dnieper or Dnieper. I, you know, I'm sure someone in the comment section will explain it better, but we're gonna get into it. Let's go. All right, so I just spent some time. I called in some tank crew, put them on these uh, stationary weapons. I did put some extra riflemen I had on one of these MG34s. Our first goal will just be to cast, sort of scout what may be there. Uh, I'm assuming just a defensive line. We can already see there's some uh, defensive trenches set up. So we're going to have to just push in there by force. We are, however, going to call in a mortar because we always want to run one of those. And then we'll just do a, a recon by force and hopefully not run into too much trouble right away. I have my medic and the lieutenant in support as well as an AT rifleman and his assistant. Oh, we're already under attack right away. Prone. Oh, did you see that animation on the prone? Okay, can we do that again? Can we do that again? 
Oh, that looks so good. Our pen 38, we heard sort of gun. Is that a machine gun here on the left? Okay, just the Maxim. Do them in a second. A mortar deploys. Oh, we're taking fire on our Panzer 38. Looks like it might already be damaged. Let's pull that back for a second. Okay, there's an AT gun. Looks like over there. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we need to maybe already decrew the Panzer 38, considering it's currently tracked, and I don't want to lose it for no reason. We'll keep mortaring. And I suppose we could call in a motorized infantry squad and send them over more to the right. And then maybe we'll have to start working. This is all very intuitive. I just did shift R to repair and without actually having to doubt myself, it immediately pops up with the repair button. So it's really nice to have that immediate familiarity, I suppose, with what I'm doing. I love the fact that these guys just came in on a truck. They didn't just walk into the battlefield like they do in other games so, so far that I've seen. We got them off. Start spreading out these machine guns that we have. Mortar. Maybe we can get you to engage. Was it over here? Uh, might be too. Oh, it's just out of range. We'll move them up slightly. Do need an extra repair going on. And let's see if we can maybe engage this mortar position, or this anti-tank position over here. Oh, they're engaging. Machine guns are set up. Oh, we have one man down. Where's our medic? He is somewhere over here. Here he is. Get him up. The sprinting animation looks freaking awesome. Alright, let's get him up. Take a look at his animation here. Some bandage his leg. In the meantime, oh, this is one of the machine gun teams, okay. Okay, vehicle repair, it looks like the Panzer Day might be ready, but let's not necessarily go too nuts on it. Okay, we are actually dealing with an AT gun over here. I'm just not sure, it looks like it's right behind, oh, there it is, okay. It's right behind that trench. Oh, it's actually just took out one of my mortar crew. My infantry squad. There's a lot of guys in the squad, actually. I just realized there's a lot of them in here. Is the medic separate? Oh, this, they do come with the medic. That's awesome. Okay. So we'll keep the sergeant and the medic uh, right behind the squad as they push up on the right side. We'll use this sort of forested area to see if we can maybe get a push around. I could maybe build... Okay, we don't have any sandbags on that. Machine gun. Rotate. Let's see if they can see anything from here. Not really. I'm kind of spraying into the wild west over there. Make sure they reload. Push up. The one thing I've noticed reloading is Y, not R, because what I do like though at the same time is they kept rotate to R, because that really bothered me. I don't even think there was a, a rotate button in Call to Arm, so it's really nice to see that they have gotten that back. The port animations do look really good. And maybe we can do some uh, close quarters combat here in the trenches. We have G41s with us. We can. Ooh, that was a. <laughs> that guy just took a direct shot to the noggin. I'm surprised he's feeling okay after that. Oh, we might have just dismounted the mortar. We do have a vehicle over here. Okay, it's a T26 with a double machine gun turret. So why don't we deploy the tank crew now? We're taking out the mm, anti-tank gun. Which is, can we knock out this T26? I guess we'll slowly work it down. Our medic, roll back. Machine gun, move up. All right, let's roll forward. MP40s are engaging from quite far away. Might not be super effective. We haven't knocked out that, oh, there's a T26 over here. Oh, uh, uh, e ooh, uh where's my anti-tank rifle unit? They're somewhere way back here. Go, 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 go. Do we have any AT grenades? I don't think so. Sorry, my AT rifle guy is running in. Bring up his Panzerbuchse. We do need the medic up here ASAP. Or is that the... Where did the medic guy go? Okay. Well, we can't really deal with him right now. Because we do have to figure... Okay. Hmm. Panzerbuchse. Working forward. I hear it. Reloading. Oh, we're shooting way over him now. Okay. There it is. 
Okay, just use it. That's a bounce. It's being mortared right now. There we go. I just saw a bunch of armor paneling fall out. We're just charging this T26 at this point. Oh, cruise is mounting. Pistol, pistol, pistol. Oh, pull back. Okay, well, we knocked out that tank, but we got to pull back. Oh, crap. We have some man down. I don't know if we can still save them or not. Where's the medic right now? Okay, set him up to heal. We knocked out that T26, though. It did cost some of my, my units. We have the machine gun. Okay, it was knocked out, but we're operational again. And where did our armored car go? Okay. Pull that forward as well. Work over the trenches over here. Medic is picking up our wounded, which is perfect. So that was kind of scary. We managed to pick them up. We can see the bar there. What kind of armor can we call on anyway? Let's see. We have Panzer 1s, Panzer 2s, Panzer 35, Panzer Jäger 1s, Panzer 3J. You might get a Panzer 3J because that might help us do a little bit more damage against the uh, heavier equipment they may send our way. Question is, where did my Feldwebel go? Here we go. I think Feldwebel is a sergeant anyway, if I remember correctly. Here comes our Panzer 3. Okay, that looks freaking fantastic. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, is this a 20, 21st or 20th Panzer Division symbol? I'm trying to remember now from Steel Division. I think it's either the 21st or the 20th, but damn, this thing looks good. Wow. Oh, I'm just so amazed how this game looks. Okay, what do we have over here? What is all the way back here? Oh, it's a BA-6. Okay, well, good. We have our armored car or anti-tank rifle infantry still up front. Oh, we sent him some heavy fire, though. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can sort of sprint crawl up here. Reload. Okay. See, I'm not really too confident about just running up to this... Hmm... This BA-6, I'm a little afraid of. Does it have a 45 mil? Yeah, okay, that's the same gun as a T-26. Or some of the T-26s, anyway. Roll, roll up. Infantry here. I guess we could try and go for a charge in this position. It'd be a little risky. Oh, God! Just got, they got blown by the 45 mil, I think, from the BA. So run, 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 run. Maybe the machine gun shouldn't have been the first one to go, but, you know, whatever. They're running into the trench system. And golden. Okay, MP-40. Let's push you to the trench. Reload. Oh, keep you down, keep you down. Oh, ooh, that was very hurry. Okay, our medic. Working over this man who was injured. Okay, we found the BA again. A harder than I thought to... Oh, there he is. I think I just spotted him right there through the woods. You can just see the tippy top of him. Our mortar actually engaged him too. Oh. It's okay. The, it looks like the whole machine gun on that BA is very adamant about taking me down. Why don't we move up our Panzer 38? See, it's a little risky because obviously he's going to have the advantage of being on the defense. But we can kind of figure out where he is. That's a very bad shot. Okay, that's a perfect turret hit, and his shell went nowhere near us. The second we knock him out, we can roll up our armored car and clean up the area. Actually, we can take a little bit more of a risk now since we've knocked out his turret, allegedly. Aim a little bit more for the compartment down there. There we go. I think he is knocked out. Oh, he's he's definitely gone now. All right, let's call in this other squad. Send them in. There's one. Oh, there's one Soviet right in front of us over here. No, that's a TNT. Oh, it's a Molotov, actually. Okay, we got him. Woof. Our guys are just running through the Molotov like they don't really care, but I mean, they are. Ooh, our tank is still on fire. I'm hoping it's. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, I didn't even. Okay. So that's a bit awkward. Hopefully, we can rescue some of them on. Oh no, he's putting other people. They're putting other people on fire. Uh, the animation is brutal, but I don't. Oh, that's not good. I don't think we can rescue any of those guys who burned down. Just gonna assume that's a no. Okay, we can't. We could take this 1902, but we're not going to. 
Get this guy, please. Ooh, we got him just in the head there. That was brutal. Okay. Let's see if we can engage some of these guys. Oh, they look mostly down. Not really effective using this at, uh, like, that range, obviously, but we have secured... There's one more character left. It's taking a lot of... Okay, now we're good. We're good. All right, let's check this barn. That was a relatively costly attack. Uh, the fact that we drove through our own... Uh, well, not, their, not our own, but the fact that we drove through their uh, Molotov was a little on the stupid side, but, you know, I guess it happens sometimes. Let's check these trenches here, because this could easily hide a AT gun or a mortar or something. But it looks like we're relatively okay, so... I guess we'll set up on the wall here and figure out our next plan of attack. We do still have... Oh, we have a lot of ammo left, actually, for our mortar. That's perfect. Get him on there. Our gun. Okay. I gotta say, everything so far, very impressed. The music, the quality of the game. Oh, there's, a, there's actually some enemies left over here. What is this? Is this a SMG gunner? Oh, wow, that ragdoll was awesome. He didn't just stop moving. He actually fell kind of the way he was running. That was actually really, really cool to see that. I don't think we're going to... Oh, there's more contacts over here. They might be slightly off the map, so maybe we'll deal with those. We'll, we'll have to leave an infantry squad here. I'm assuming that we'll have to deal with them later. Maybe the map will expand in, like, Sir Hinkle sort of fashion. Um, so I guess in the meantime, we should call in... We're kind of low on points, though. Call in some more infantry and rotate our vehiculars. Combine these guys all in one. And get our truck of. Oh, it's so it's so cool that they come in a truck. Like to me, that's just so nuts. That's so, so unheard of. Let's dismount them though. And let's turn the truck off, because it's going to be really loud otherwise. There you go. With all these vehicles on the map, it's just going to be a mess if you leave them all running. Now we could just sort of mix this in two sort of sections like that, but a medic maybe needs to stick with the machine gunner. So we'll have a smaller section here, and then the main one. Sort of like a, I guess a German squad would do it sort of similar. They'd have um. I mean, they'd have a smaller mas machine gun unit that would be the base of fire of everything because the Germans always revolve their... Well, at least until... Um, as far as I'm aware, they actually always revolve around the machine gun as being the main, like, weapon. And that would be the uh, suppressive fire base. And then any sort of infantry push would be done, well, by the obvious infantry. We're going to take this guy off. Don't really need him on that... Right now, we are taking some light fire from the trenches back here. Nothing too heavy, though. This Path 30 also, it's got, like, some gas on there and equipment to get it out of a bog. It looks so freaking awesome, man. Let's push this up. Okay, we have the medic and an officer here. Actually, it might be the... Okay, it's just a sergeant. Whatever. Let's uh, take a look and see what's going on. We're taking fire? Take a shot from there? We did. I don't see anything. Our mortar is engaging. Uh, let's move our left infantry shoots forward. I think that's what this is. Oh, that was a hit on our Pants 38 right there. You could hear the ding. That was really cool, actually. Let's assign this guy to one of the teams. Push them over to the flank some more. I'm hoping we can roll through those sort of fake tank crap. They're taking some hits. I'm not sure what it is. Might be an anti-tank. Oh, it's a rifle grenadier over here? Oh, no, there's anti tank guns back there. Okay, okay, okay. Mortar. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Engage. Infantry push down. Okay. Secret, our objectives are still... Okay, wait, there's a secret objective? Okay, but obviously there's no location because it's secret. Our mortar is working over this area. There is some potential. There's there's a bunch of shells over here. 
So is it, ooh, I like that camera shake. That was really cool. The dust coming off and stuff. Wow. Oh, there it is. It's an M37. Okay, we'll engage that. We are uh, tracked, however, at the moment, I believe. Where did it go? Is it right here? Wow, annoying. It's uh, it's hidden by the fog of war right now, so we're gonna have to shoot very accurately. Nope. And by accurately, I mean hitting. Oh! You can see the parts of the crew, I think, flying off there. Okay, I like this. I like this. Uh, let's push up this squad a little closer. Let's get our Panzer 38 forward. This can stay here. This can stay here. Our Panzer, our Panzer 3 is repairing. Our Lightning 3 shoots. Only there's a couple shells left. So I don't know if we can get any resupply. Okay, they're moving forward. We can just kind of flank. Wait, what is this? Is oh, is this what I think it is? Please tell me. Oh yes! This must be a secret objective, right? I mean, there's a freaking double. Hey, look at that. Okay, guess what? Y'all just been promoted to be a quick gunner crew. Spread out the infantry here. Okay. Oh, a vehicle. Oh, it's a BT-7. Uh, I need my my Panzer III to move up, and I need it to engage that BT before it knocks out my... Crap. Uh, Nebelwerfer. Rotate. Do we have any AT grenades here? Oh, we don't. Is there anything in this truck? No. Nope. Let's get out. Let's get out. Save the day. BT-7, BT-7, reload. Ooh, wow. Perfect hit. We didn't lose some infantry over here, but we saved the day uh, with our um, with our Panzer III, which is great. Slowly moving up. Machine gun, maybe move up slowly. So we'll have this Nebelwerfer in reserve. We can't really deal these people right now, but I don't really want to use the Neville Warfare unless we have a good target. I mean, it's cool to just use it, but obviously we want to shoot something with it. That might Ooh! Did you see that? That one tank crew that I just got hit, or uh, the officer can get binoculars out, just got hit. We might need to get more infantry. I think we're kind of low on our points right now, so we have to... Oh, crap. We have a lot of men down. We have to get our medics over here. We cleared the fording area. Mostly, mostly. There's still some enemies left. Oh, really? Oh my god, the map just expanded by a lot. Alright, let's use our Neville Werfer. Uh, on something useful. Get our medic over here ASAP. Okay, we have upgraded equipment and more reserves. It gets got a bunch of money. Okay, we have a student pioneer. Okay, okay. Uh, an AT gun, and we need to get our medic on the ball here, ASAP. Where he at? Where is he at? Oh, I have a medic right here. I don't even know why I had to run him all the way over here then. Oh well, whatever. And what else have we got? Uh, at the armor? Let's take a look at the armor vehicle. Anything cool here? I don't think we've got anyone's added over here, but we did get Student Pioneer access, Pack 38s. We have a Nebelwerfer, which I really want to use on something. I mean, we can't leave without Neville Warfaring something. Let's get it into position. Let's get it into or out of this position, I suppose, first of all, but I guess we'll move this unit up. This might be the one with the lieutenant in it. That's fine. He can be kind of aggressive. Medic stay. Actually, we'll take one of these guys out and medic stays with this section and then we'll move everyone up into this trench. Make sure it's clear. And then I guess we could sort of use some heavier... So that's where... That's why those shots were coming out earlier. There is definitely, uh, there was definitely stuff for us to do back here. Listen, this bridge been knocked out, but there is, uh, sort of, I guess, oh, there's one bridge over here, but maybe the river is also traversable. Who knows? All right, we're just doing a sort of recon party over here. Um, oh, oh, whoa, 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 this entire area with the Nebelwerfer. 
All right, screen away. Oh, wow. The That was awesome. I don't know if we got any direct impacts on this 37. What is this little thing? Oh, look at that. It's a tiny T27. That This is nuts. Um, words, honestly, I don't even know what to say. What we're going to do is we're going to call it here. We'll be back with the second part of this episode. Because I didn't really, really think this is going to be a huge-ass mission for the first mission to be expanding the map maybe multiple times uh we'll get back to you asap for now i really hope you guys enjoyed the first look a world exclusive first look at the gates of hell german campaign i'd love to see you guys in the next one cheers